A dad now charged with child neglect after Castleberry police say his two young kids were found wandering alone trying to cross State Road 436. And that is where we find News 6's Clay Lepard. And Clay, that is a very busy stretch of road, but we're told those kids are okay tonight? Ginger, they are. Two Samaritans are credited with stopping those kids as they were looking to cross the nine lanes of traffic here late Monday night. They were getting ready to run across to Where were they pointed out? Newly released body camera video shows the moments after two people spotted a two-year-old and a four-year-old trying to cross this stretch of 436 and Lake Howell Road in Castleberry at around 1030 Monday night. Everything will. okay? What happened? Well, I mean, the issue is the kids were trying to cross 436. They were unattended for 20, 30 minutes plus. They did not get hit by a car. Luckily, a good Samaritan stopped them as they were in the middle of 436, unsupervised. <laughs> According to the report, Anthony Proenza Jimenez was watching his four and two year old children while his wife was at work. At first, he told Castleberry police they were all at the pool when he fell asleep. He said he had fallen asleep one time and then he said he was out looking for the kids and during a different conversation, so there were some mixed stories that we got from him. We're over here with no underwear on, no diaper, no nothing. We were at the pool, so I took it off of him, sir. I've been running around at that neighborhood. Perenza Jimenez now faces two counts of child neglect. We spoke with Perenza Jimenez, his wife, and their children off camera today. He says the whole ordeal is a big misunderstanding, and he says his children were only left unattended for less than 30 minutes. Well, police say the children may have been unattended for more than two hours. Lorenzo Jimenez also says there are several other discrepancies with what police say happened, but he did not elaborate. He is due back in court in October. In Castleberry, Clay Lepard, News 6. Glad to hear those kids are okay. Clay, thank you.